All right guys, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, what I wanna do is I wanna talk about the website that we're gonna create because we're not just learning one thing or two things that are just gonna not make sense. We're really building a project. We're gonna build a whole website in HTML5. And I wanted to replicate something like this. If you go to my website and click on Village Park University, you still have like the main content over here and then I got my sidebar advertising a company right here. Kind of maybe not as important content as over here, but just look how this web page is broken up. I've got my header, my nav bar, social media icons, sidebar, main content, and my footer down here. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna grab some images that I have from my introduction to HTML, XHTML and CSS series, and scroll down to image file, because I'm gonna create a folder Go to our HTML5 root folder. Now inside of here, I'm gonna create a new folder and we're gonna go ahead and call it images. And this is where we'll keep our, our images. Images, okay, perfect. Let's pull this back up and I'm gonna steal these two images. Just grab it, click it, bring it to your desktop. Village part, and I'll grab this. This could work as like a sidebar. Keep in mind, by no way, shape, or form is this something I would ever put on a website. But for the sake of the tutorial, it's just going to let us know how we can add an image to our header. So I'm going to grab these two images, and I'm actually going to rename it. So I'm going to call this one sidebar.jpg, and this one right here I will call header or logo, just like that. And I'm going to put these two JPEGs in my images folder. There it is, perfect. Okay, so let's go back to our index.html page. Let me get rid of this stuff right here. Okay, so how we're gonna build this project is we're really just gonna build a website just from top to bottom, just kind of from top to bottom, left to right. We'll start with the header, we'll start with the nav, and we'll slowly work our way down. So with HTML5, there's new tag structure. Like back in the day, or not back in the day, I mean, some people still use div tags. This is great for XHTML, but with HTML5, we want everything looking good on Androids and iPhones and everybody's computer. We want it all to be formatted and to fit correctly into whatever device our customer or guest is using when they look at our web page. So in HTML5, instead of using div tags to separate chunks of code, we can use a header tag, which is much more specific. It actually lets the browser know that this is the header. So close this header tag out just like that and in here we could have text we could have h1 tags if you're not familiar with h1 tags h1 goes all the way up to h6 h1 being the biggest h6 being the smallest I'll show you in a second so we'll just type village park source let's close out our h1 tag save it let's open it up okay that's actually not that big H1, let's see what H2 looks like. And these are great for SEO. This is uh, H1 tags, like when a Google goes through your website, H1 tags, title tags, this is way more important than your paragraph text. That you're gonna find this stuff a lot faster. So what H2 tags look like? Village part two, okay, I'll just go back to H1. But how about let's use one of our images that we just used. One of our images that we just used from our images folder just right here so the, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I apologize okay so this is called logo.jpg and jpeg jpeg and jpg are the exact same thing so since we have this image right here might as well pull it into our website so let's go to let's get rid of our h1 tags and this is how we call an image in HTML image source and it's in images that's the name of our folder and inside here it is logo dot JPEG. And that's how we close out an image tag. We don't have like a whole nother IMG. You don't do that in HTML5. You don't do that in any HTML. This is how we use an image. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's reload it. Why didn't this work? Probably because we didn't have an E right there. Let's go ahead and save it. Reload it. Perfect. There it is. Okay. We have a header. All right, guys. Good luck with this. And in the next video, we will talk about our navigation bar.